there's been a glitch in communication. The payload is three tons overweight, and the chopper is straining. It's dangerous. For a few terrifying minutes, nothing happens. Until suddenly, there's liftoff. After some couple of minutes, the blocks start to appear, and the dust starts to appear from the, from, from the ground. And I think, ah, oh, it's unbelievable. These people are able to, to, to do this. At first, unwilling to budge, the mammoth surrenders, sliding clumsily out of the hole and narrowly escaping a crash with the generator. For what seems like an eternity, the pilot attempts to trick the forces of gravity Finally, he succeeds. It was completely magic because after all of this, during 12, 15 minutes, I was ready to stop the, the process. I was uh, ready to, to not take any more risk because the uh, life of people was in, uh, engaged. And uh, after all this process, everything was okay. The helicopter was there, the, the mammoth was there with his two tusks, and the sun was just setting at that time and it was the perfect timing and i think we are we have we have the help of the, of the sky today how would it feel to be a traveler suspended in space and time between being and nothingness. To look down on the Arctic with eyes frozen shut for 10,000 years. At the dawn of the new millennium, this refugee from the Ice Age will take the ride of his life. Jarkov Mammoth and his hunter come to the end of their journey. It's a soft landing that resounds across the globe. This is the final chapter in the story of the search for the Jarkov Mammoth. It's a story that ends as it began, enshrouded in ice. But it's by no means the end of the adventure. Perhaps the woolly mammoth will rise again. At this time, the revival of an extinct species is still a dream but some think it can be done by cloning. It takes only one cell, but requires a complete strand of DNA, and this will be hard to come by. But if the chain of cold is unbroken, some say it might be possible to fertilize an egg. But is it likely that a woolly mammoth could be resurrected from fragments of DNA 20,000 years old? Some of the world's top mammoth experts disagree. 
At the moment, what we know about the preservation of DNA in the permafrost is that it's not good enough for that. It's difficult, but uh, uh, we have a chance to study, to make a clone. I think it's just a dream. I think people who speak about this uh, have uh, very closely watched uh, Jurassic Park. If they can get DNA, there's no problem with cloning. I, I think we shouldn't try it anyway. Mammoth disappeared uh, because of men. So, if men could revive, it would be only justice. There's surely some place on this planet that's close enough to what they lived in when they were alive that they could be happy.